Well, howdy there, Internet students. This is Mr. Hermanson again. We are doing lesson 11.6 today, finding the surface area and volume of spheres. Um, I hope you watched the two little videos to help you understand where the formulas are coming from. Makes it a lot easier to remember them then and to use them. Um, you can check this page out if you, uh, if you need a little more information about that. I think there's a problem later on that deals with uh, this thing here, the great circle. So you might want to check out that part. And all right, so the surface area is spheres. Um, you probably noticed from watching that video that um, if you take a circle, if you made a, took the slice out of the middle of this sphere, that circle would actually be one-fourth of the entire surface area of the sphere, which is kind of crazy. Um, but it turns out that way. So first thing we're going to do is use that formula. Area equals 4 pi r squared. We're going to leave this one in terms of pi, so we're going to use the radius there, which is 9. 4 times pi times 9 squared. Uh, this is 81 times 4 is 324 pi. All right, why don't you try one like that, see if it works out for you. All right, your work should look something like that. So uh, what is the surface area of a ball with a circumference of about 25 inches? Um, to use this formula, we need to know the radius. Well, in the circumference, that's equal to 2 pi r. So that means if I divide both these by 2 pi, that the radius is equal to the circumference divided by 2 pi. So let's take uh, 25 and substitute it for c, 25 divided by 2 pi, and we're going to use that for our radius. So our area is 4 times pi times 25 divided by 2 pi squared. And uh, we need to round to the nearest square inches, so I'm just going to enter that into my calculator and see what it gives. And my calculator is telling me that's about 200 approximately. Now, um, one, one thing about entering... 25 divided by 2 pi in your calculator. If you just do 25 divided by 2 pi like this, um, it actually does this division and then multiplies that by pi, which isn't good. So you either use parentheses or do 2 times pi first, then divide 25 by your answer. Somehow you have to deal with that. All right, so what is the surface area of a melon? Oh, hey, I just thought of another way you can deal with that. If you instead do this as 12.5 over pi, then you don't have to worry about what I was just talking about. So that's probably an easier way to do it. All right, so you give it a shot here. See if you can come up with the right surface area for this melon. There's what I got. I hope it matches what you got. All right, move it on. Um, here's another uh, derivation of the volume formula of a sphere. Um, hopefully you watch that video so you kind of understand where that comes from. Uh, but uh, so our equation we're going to be using is this. So in this first problem, Volume equals four thirds times pi r cubed. And r, we're going to use 12 cubed. And um, we want it in terms of pi, so I'm just going to take this four thirds times 12 cubed and get that. And that gives me 2,304 pi. So you try one. All right, yeah, that's what I got for that one. All right, what if we want to use a volume to find the surface area?
So the volume, 2200, is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we're going to have to use a cube root to undo this. Let's just first get the r cubed by itself. To do that, we have to get rid of this 4 thirds. We'll do that by multiplying by the reciprocal. Took care of that. And then to get rid of the pi, we're going to have to take that answer, 3 fourths of 2200, which equals 1650. And we're going to need to divide that by pi. Okay. And then to find r, we're going to have to do the cube root of that. Now I'm going to. When I do this on my calculator, I am going to store that into x so that it can, so I can keep it as accurate as possible. Once I have that, I have to find the surface area, whatever that equals. Um, so like I said, I'm going to store that in x. I'm going to take, uh, to find the area, I'm going to take 4 times pi times my radius, which Remember, it's going to be stored in x in my calculator to the second power. Okay. All right. And here's what I get when I do that. And uh, when I did that, I ended up with about 818. All right. Why don't you try one of those? See if you can make have it work out for you. All right. There's what I got for that. All right, it looks like you're ready for some practice. I hope that goes well for you. Just remember, there's a lot of things you can't change in life, but your math skills is not one of them.